the utter humiliation of Meghan and Harry as Sussex's reputation was mocked and destroyed couldn't be worse. The Sussexes have become something they never imagined and it has huge implications for their future. Hello and warm welcome to the news of our royal family. I really don't see Harry as the kind of person who spends most of his time reading Oscar Wilde. He should, there is a certain kind of family spirit. For starters, the legendary author was a man who had no problem taunting his superior and refused to give in to prejudice. We must also remember one of Wilde's most famous characters, he said. There's only one thing in life worse than talking about it and we don't talk about it. This could be enough to calm Harry after the latest royal news was announced on Wednesday. Now it's not like Harry and Meghan signed on because they were a celebrity. I haven't heard of their plans to host the MTV Awards, and I don't think they'll be joining Simon Cowell in hearing any future moans anytime soon. But an upcoming episode of South Park really seems to piss them off in a teaser for an upcoming episode titled A Dumb Prince and His Dumb Wife Kyles, a longtime character on the show and says it drives me seriously crazy. I'm sick of hearing about them but I can't get away from them, they're all over my deep face and then another character stares at me. We don't care about a stupid prince and a stupid woman, don't know about y'all but I'm pretty excited to watch this episode so Meghan and Harry have literally become the laughing stock and this isn't the first instance lately that they've been the butt of very high profile jokes during the Grammys, host Trevor Noah poked fun at Harry and before that, Chelsea Handler was deadpan at the Critics' Choice Awards, saying Himmer became the third most watched show on Netflix with a combined watch. Time of a billion hours which is apparently the same amount of time we'll have to listen to Harry talking about his frozen penis. Enough then when Harry released his tell-all memoir SP in January on The Jimmy Kimmel Show, first in a sketch poking fun at the altercation between Harry and his brother Prince William. There were two actors dressed as a singer, Prince then, in a different episode Kimmel told the audience that the publishers had decided to publish a children's version of Harry's memoir and decided to title it The Prince and the Penis. And then he read the book he read in the cold North Pole, a foolish young man walked through the snow and froze his todger, when it comes to the royal family, they make us laugh a little. I mean, weaknesses, scandals, extramarital affairs, they've been feeding actors and writers for a long time. But we also have to remember that Meghan and Harry are starting to look less like power players and more like a punchline. So, for starters, the Americans seem to have passed them. The poll was taken after Spare and Harry's appearances were published, there are more Americans who have an unfavorable view of Meghan and Harry than a favorable view, and about half of Americans also believe that Meghan and Harry should have their titles stripped. So what's interesting about this situation, and at the same time maybe a bit surprising, is that while Meghan and Harry might be the most famous people in the world who aren't on TikTok, fame doesn't clearly did not translate into professional success. They don't make a lot of money. And they are not that expensive. We've come a long way since the days of July 20, 19 when Harry was asked to speak at a press conference. These billionaires and these people who buy planes privately and en masse at Google Camp. There were very powerful people listening to Harry then talk barefoot about climate change, but these days, people like that don't want anything to do with this creepy couple anymore. We learned last week that they were invited to the re-vote of hit talk show host Ellen DeGeneres and his wife, and it was a ceremony presided over by Kris Jenner. And of course, Kris Jenner sold his own daughters to make all his money now. So was that appearance Harry made at the United Nations General Assembly last July, where he spoke to a significant number of empty seats. Invitations to such high-profile events seem to be in short supply, moreover, Meghan and Harry have not been accepted into the circle of any of the major American political or cultural figures like Barack Michelle Obama. Interestingly, it looks like George is done with them as well. So they started their foundation in NE, and they got so many listeners there. But Meghan and Harry were now absent from their documentary series, Meghan and Harry made sure to include a scene where Meghan receives a text message of support from beyond. I say I can't help but wonder why these stars don't want to publicly align themselves with Meghan and Harry, so one possibility is that it's a direct result of their portrayal. No prisoners p are war, 
I'm talking about the Oprah interview, Netflix's stock series, so it could very well be that Meghan and Harry are seen as too controversial, too divisive, too polarizing to involve major celebrities and their careers don't look much better. I mean, Harry made history by asking the CEO to write or write, or I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with writing the best-selling non-fiction book of all time. Well, I guess that's proof that he has a bachelor's degree in geography in his final exams and has never worked for anyone but himself, there will be no problem in terms of literary success. Currently, Harry might be pretty riotous, but the question is, what are they going to do next? They both signed a deal with Spotify at the end of 2020, but more than two years later, Harry has only produced a single episode and there has never been any hint that he was quietly working on podcasts around the world. In the background, and of course there was Megan's podcast series called Archetypes, which was hugely successful at first, but very soon the episodes quietly slipped down the list of most popular platforms week after week. It seemed to get worse and worse, and there wasn't a single look at Spotify or excitement about having a second series or new offerings. And what about Meghan and Harry's biggest deal, the deal they signed with Netflix, well, the six-part document series included a lot of complaints and included a few iPhone selfies and they made sure to get every last drop out of it. Was a ratings hit for Netflix, but I'm sure you knew there was going to be a push. The only other show that has been confirmed to be in the works is the Invictus Games documentary. This is of course a sporting event that Harry founded for injured and active veterans. Harry started out that way when he was still HRH.no other shows, documentaries or opportunities for Harry to don his new producer cap have been announced. So right now Meghan and Harry are busy with a number of exciting new projects for their various corporate payers. Well, I can't rule out that possibility. I mean, they have bills to pay after all. But if so, it's interesting that it's such a secret, and recently, Daily Mail reporters reported that of the 18 points of $6 million raised by our foundation, 14 points of $3 million came from a very wealthy individual, which would indicate that they did not have yet attracted a larger donor base. Interesting story. So this week, California Senator Dianne Feinstein announced that she would be retiring at the end of her term and that is exactly what has been reported in the past. Meghan Markle wants to try for now. It's been years since we talked about Meghan having a shot at political office and today the idea of Meghan going to Washington borders on comical.so, with all of that in mind, where exactly will Harry and Meghan go from here? Because seriously, now, whoever takes them seriously, they have become the object of a permanent fascination but also of ridicule thanks to their constant attacks of complaint and even at the time of destroying the royal family. They seem to exist outside of the major leagues. It goes without saying that the big names in politics, philanthropy or business have not yet welcomed Meghan and Harry into their ranks. So you know, maybe if they need help, they can call Kris Jenner.at least she knows how. What do you think of Harry? Please tell me your opinion below in the comments section and we can discuss your thoughts and feelings as well. If you find my video useful, don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and family who will enjoy it anytime. Subscribe to our Royal Family News YouTube channel to get more updates from our team right away. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and I will come back to see you in the next videos.